and welcome to game two of the Brain Masters Tournament here at the Brain Ladle Trivia Podcast. I am your MC Davo. With me today, we have Kells. Hey, what's happening? <laughs> we <laughs> You do that so well. He really <laughs> does. We have Andy. Hello, Ladle Brainers. We have Allison. Oh, baby, when you talk like that. <laughs> Man, the one time I'm ready for you to go, ha, and I take my ha! headphones off, you don't, you should yeah. cure it up. Andy's been telling me I'm, uh, <laughs> he's been telling me my Shakira has been a hit. He's been on Discord, and we have a former student that also has a podcast, and I listened to his podcast last week, Aaron Harris. Props to you, and I'm pretty sure he was doing an impression of you doing an impression of Shakira <laughs> on his podcast. Mm -hmm. Oh, you mm -hmm. made it. Oh, wow. Yeah. I made it. You made it. <laughs> Since we're talking about how awesome Allison is, before we introduce the sensei, my sister texted me and hasn't texted me in like a week and said, isn't it great when Allison's on the show? She's so funny. Aww. <laughs> so Thank shout out you. to Randy. Go Chose. Hey, Randy. Mm -hmm. And we have the sensei, Neil. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, it's two in a row I haven't been ready for. <laughs> hey, you guys want to play some trivia? Yes! <laughs> trivia! Trivia! So here's here's the way we do this. Each week we have a theme. And then within that theme, we've got six categories of four questions each. Each question is worth 10 points. Possibly a few bonus points thrown in here and there. And then a final question, which is worth up to 100 points. And we are on game two of the Brain Masters 3 tournament. Mm. Had a pretty exciting game last week. Lots of uh, lead changes, but ultimately Kells uh, finished in first lead, place. Lead changes? I just remember looking at Kells' dust. Yeah, a lot of changes for second and third. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well. See, really, my memory is, I'm not going to get last. I'm not going to get last. Holy fuck, I got last. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? I, I take that back. There there were no lead changes. <laughs> there was lots of pretty jockey. much from question three, Kells was in the lead and yeah. uh only extended it as time went on. But anyway, that's not that's neither here nor there. So so far in the tournament, uh Kells is in first place, Davo is in second, Andy is in third, and Allison, bless her heart, is in fourth place. Bless her heart. <laughs> and today's theme is a mystery Ooh. oh i love the mystery theme mm -hmm. so the way this works is there is an overriding mystery theme and each category will point you to a clue that will help you figure out the mystery theme mm. so there's only there's only six clues for the for the mystery theme the the questions within the categories are kind of self-contained right mm. so and i think I was going to ask you guys how you want to do this. Last time we did a mystery theme, I had you guys send me a private uh, message on our Slack. That works for me. And I think what we'll do, tell me what you think about this. The first person to send me the correct uh, mystery theme in our mm -hmm. private message will get 20 points. Oh. Second person will get 10 points. Third will get five. And the last one will get no points. That sounds like a great idea. I like it. Let's do it that way. Can I just blast you with random guesses? <laughs> yeah, is it one guess per person? One guess per person. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. You don't want 38 mm. messages in your private chat there? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I am going to be recording a podcast, so it would be best right. not to be that, mm. that distracted. Yeah. It's never stopped me, you know? <laughs> All right. And I will tell you as soon as you, uh, I'll tell you privately if you have the theme. Mm. So um, that may help you with further categories. And because this is, I almost forgot, because this is the uh, Brain Masters tournament, one of our categories is worth double points. 
And Ooh, I, have I love my, that. I have my new and improved random number generator. So we're going to figure uh-huh. out which category that is. Awesome. All right. That have. sounds so good. It really does. <laughs> I made mean that. We need to do <laughs> Neil's dice rolling ASMR videos. <laughs> mm-hmm. So much money on YouTube. Mm-hmm. That's really creepy. I would probably just add sleep it better. to the OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, category one. Question one. What was the most popular album from the band Nirvana? And for a bonus, for three points each, name either of the other two studio albums by Nirvana. I actually know this. Um, okay, so... Neil, did I black out, or is there a category? It's a mystery. Oh, we don't get to the know the individual categories? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so so what you're going to do is you're, these, these, next, these first four questions have something that's kind of connecting them. Once you figure that out, that's a clue towards guessing what the the ultimate theme is. I'm locked in. And I want to clarify, you said studio albums? Studio albums, mm-hmm. yes. Okay. Not, no, no live albums. I'm locked in. I only know this because I saw it on the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> in Pensacola at a Chinese food restaurant. Uh, I'm locked in. Okay. So that's everybody. I'm locked in, yeah. So let's start with Kells. Uh, never mind. And then in utero and bleach. Ah. Devo? Uh, I have never mind as the primary answer. And I only got in utero. I forgot the bleach. Uh, Devo or Andy? Uh, never mind. Uh, bleach in utero. And Allison? I think I got the. The meat. I said never mind. Which I have a question after. I have a trivia nugget question. Okay. (laughs) Okay. That's interesting. Mm Mm-hmm. What's your... Well, the correct answer... So you don't have a a guess for the bonus? Just... Yeah. Just wrote one thing down. Okay. So the correct answer is never mind. Uh, It was was their best-selling album, their second album. Their first album was called Bleach, and their third was In Utero. Mm. What's your uh, nugget, Allison? Well, so the other day, me and the kids were talking about the baby floating in the pool, reaching for the dollar bill. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they were trying to tell me that like, the baby is suing or has successfully sued Nirvana. He did. Currently suing. He, he attempted to sue. In the process. So, what what are the legal grounds here? What are we? Um, child exploitation or child pornography? Right. Child Only exploitation, two. as I understood it. Yeah. Uh, he wants some money now yes. because he's in his early twenties ah. and probably wants to buy a car or something. Right. So he's saying, <laughs> um, cars are cool. Cars are sweet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> cars for kids i would be curious <laughs> the reason why i had you clarify the the album i think their mtv unplugged album it came out right after his death actually sold more than any of their studio albums um well we can look that up real quick if you i would to. be shocked if it sold more than Nevermind. genuinely I, didn't that do like 10 million it was a uh, huge yeah, album. i think it was diamond okay so uh never mind Worldwide has sold 30 million albums. Mm-hmm. Uh, in in utero has sold 15 million. MTV unplugged in New York, 51 mil or 5.1 million. Oh, okay. I'm dead wrong then. Well, it's still a ton though. If you had asked me without clarifying studio albums, I would have put the MTV unplugged album first. Wow. All right. Question two. Great question, Sensei. Well, thank you. <laughs> You're being weird tonight. Weird, I mean, weirder than usual. <laughs> weird energy. No, I, uh, I, I. Some people have pointed out I've been putting out a lot of negative energy, and so today I'm positive. <laughs> and you're doing a great <laughs> job. All right. Question two: Who is the only NFL quarterback to lead their team to three consecutive league wins? Ooh. Three consecutive league wins. Okay. 
That is a really good question, Sensei. That's making me think. <laughs> yeah, you are weird. It hurts. It really hurts me. I'm locked in. Now I'm locked in. I don't know why I'm thinking about this. I know. League. I can throw out an easy mode that may or may not be that easy for half points if you want me to. I appreciate it, Sensei, but I really don't need it. So I'm... Um... But just three, though, right? Yes. Okay. Three consecutive ones. Three consecutive league wins. Mm, no, nah, I don't like this. I'm I'm really hoping I understand what a league is. So, <laughs> <laughs> miss. <laughs> hmm. Um, I'm locked in. Okay, so everybody's locked in. Yeah. Okay, so nobody took. My offer of the easy mode, my easy mode would have been only two of the three consecutive league wins were Super Bowl wins. Oh, man. Mm. So okay. with that, let's start with David. Well, I had Otto Graham, mm. but my parenthetical was Bart Starr. Andy. Ooh. <laughs> I'm really embarrassed, Sensei, because knowing my background, I should have gotten Bart Starr, but I went with the GOAT, Tom Brady. Oh, I feel so much better. Allison. I I don't know any of the Simpson characters you guys are talking about, but uh, <laughs> I put Tom Brady. And Kels. Yeah, you said league championships. You didn't say Super Bowls. I should have gone back um, a, little, a little further. Um, I also put Tom Brady. Sweep the leg. Oh, I love a good sweep, Sensei. The correct answer is Bart Starr. He won the NFL championship in uh, like 65 or so, or 66, and then the first two Super Bowls. Because they didn't start the Super Bowl, apparently, until they added a few more teams and split the teams into two conferences or divisions, right? So that's when it's two separate happens. leagues. It was the American Football League and the National Football League. And they got together and were like, let's decide who, let's just play a big money game and decide who the best team is between our two leagues. Mm -hmm. And then after the second Super Bowl, they merged into the NFL and they actually started calling it the Super Bowl. Was it wasn't the second Super Bowl. It was the, no, it was the second Super Bowl. No, it was the third. Third. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Question three. What designer is credited with designing the first little black dress in the 1920s? I'm locked in. I don't even huh. know if this is the time period. Yeah. I'm locked in. I got a couple in. guesses. You're going to have to pick one, Allison. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Got, got a guess. Okay. Let's start with Andy. I think it's Betty Boop. <laughs> I said Chanel. Oh, that's a good guess. Kels? I said Coco Chanel. And Devo. Chanel. Correct answer is Coco Chanel. They did before a little bit. That's just. a really good question. I don't mind getting that wrong because that was a good question. I I just this is this is you know that Andy smile. Yes, yeah. yeah, that Chucky that's, makes like as he's gonna murder you. So I think, gotta stop. I think if we, if we just ig wrong. if we just ignore him, he'll probably stop after a while. Kind of like Devo with his accents. <laughs> no, yeah. they're two different beasts, Neil. <laughs> Devo will just tire out. Andy will <laughs> find the strength to carry on. He'll double down. Yeah. Question four: Who was the captain of the USS Enterprise immediately prior to James T. Kirk? Locked in. What is Locked happening? In. I only know this because of the movies. <laughs> 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 and not the OG one, so I'm talking about 2009. Wow. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. In that stupid, stupid chair where they can design a starship, but they have a chair <laughs> with a light on it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> um. <laughs> Boop. You're not going to yes. answer Betty Boop again, are you? Got it. There it is. Oh, man, that was bugging me. 
Okay, let's start with Allison. If she's ready. Probably should have punted, but I <laughs> I wrote down Spock because I had something to write down. Okay. Mm. Kels? Pike. Deva? Pike. And Andy? Captain Christopher Pike. Correct answer is Christopher Pike. Yeah. <laughs> stupid chair. Stupid, <laughs> stupid chair. At the end of uh, Mystery Category 1, Allison has 20, Andy 26, Devo 33, Kells 36. I don't see any guesses. Yeah. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> no, 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 no. 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 Yeah. I got mm -hmm. nothing. Oh, I, I, mm. I tried to make these a bit more obscure than some of the other ones. So you, well, might, you, you might require some Well logic. done, sir. Yeah. Yeah. The thought hole it has a wormhole in it now. <laughs> oh, nice Star it's Trek just, reference. It's just, was it now? Yeah, <laughs> it really is. Yeah. Um. All right. Mystery category two. Question one. What Irish singer songwriter changed their name to Magda Davitt? in 2017 and then to Shihada Sadakat in 2018 but still records under their birth name locked in locked in locked in Irish you guys the first person to come to mind that could be a bad thing though <laughs> it often is I'm in the show. same boat Cal's probably not Bono Oh, no, I would, it definitely wasn't the first. <laughs> you can't write down Bono anymore. <laughs> Might have been that guy from Thin Lizzy. I'm fudged, gang. <laughs> At least last time I had a glimmer of hope. Okay. If it's, can I give her an easy mode if I think I'm right? Can I help uh, her out? You can, you can tell bad. her whatever you want. I, okay. If I'm thinking of the right person, I'm pretty sure I am. This is the person Chris Christopherson told, rebels don't get to cry. Okay, now you're just flexing. And I was yeah. supposed to help you? Was this supposed to help you? <laughs> you helped no one on this show with that clue. Just that's now. a great easy mode, Andy. <laughs> well, I've been, working with, I've been working with Barry. Do you know any Irish singers, Allison, besides Vano? I do, but I don't, I'm pretty damn sure this is not his given name. <laughs> okay. Also not her given name. All right. I've just, I've got a guess and a parenthetical. So just, just to be clear, I'm asking for this person's given name. They've changed their name twice. Mm -hmm. yeah, I know. That's why I'm saying, and you okay. said they, they still go by like their music is under their given name. Right. Yeah, I'm not. I'm definitely not writing down people's given names. These are like artist names. Okay. A hundred percent. But I tried. But you're and I think them. they're Irish. And I wrote, <laughs> the only reason I wrote down two is to make myself feel better. Okay. Ah. Well, let's start with Andy. You know, I really don't have a clue, Sensei, but it sounds like, and I mean this in the best possible way, the kind of batshit crazy things Sinead O'Connor would do. Allison? I mean, O'Connor, I should have known. Um, I wrote down <laughs> Hosier. Oh. And in uh, parentheses, I have Inya, because I think both of those people are Irish. Kelsey. Inya is. Or she's Scottish. Uh, Sinead O'Connor. And Devo. Sinead O'Connor. Correct answer is Sinead O'Connor. Okay, let me write that down. Don't necessarily know how to spell it, but tell me one song. Help. No, nothing, nothing compares, compares to, you. to you. The emperor has uh, the emperor's new clothes. Um, I can only give you one. That's the me too. Yeah, like she, two did I know. A, she did a cover <laughs> yeah. of War. Okay, and I'm trying to figure out the theme of each category and the overarching theme. Yeah, I'm lost. I didn't even think about that part. Well, yeah, but yeah, I'm, I'm only asking you for the th overarching theme. Yeah. But just to pry, do each of these clusters have a category to them, or is it really just 24 questions at all no, in they rounds? No, do, they do have a category, and they relate in some way to the 
to the Wow, that uh, is really mad. No, you know what? That's game. a great idea. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. So, question okay. two. Who had their biggest hit with the song Eternal Flame in 1989? Locked in. And I have an easy mode if you need it for half points. I'm locked in too. I need that easy mode, sir. Because it is not public enemy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, sure, I'll take the easy mode. I'm still not going to get it, but... Okay, well, you might. The easy mode okay. is they may be better remembered today for walking like Egyptians. Oh, oh. I know, I know. I know this Locked because in. of this podcast. Oh, it really drilled it in on this show. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, so, uh, Andy? The Bengals. Allison? The Bengals. And Kells? This is how some country people would say who the AF- AFC team is in the um, Super Bowl this year. It's the Bengals. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Devo? Bengals. It is the Bengals. Question three, born Yvette Stevens, what 10-time Grammy Award winner was given her (laughs) stage name by a a Yoruba priest? Oh, locked in. 10-time Grammy winner. Wow. I'm going to punt. I don't know. Sure. Uh, I wrote down a name. Okay. What (laughs) name did you write down? I wrote down Aretha Franklin. Okay. Which I'm pretty sure that's her real name, but. <laughs> Kels? You know, she would love you anyway, even if you cannot stay. Shaka Khan. Uh, Devo. Now Ray Guy comes in for his first punt of the day. <clears throat> Kick is away. <clears throat> There's a high, twisting, hang time spiral. And Andy. Shaka Khan. Right answer is Shaka Khan formerly of the band Rufus. Rufus. She was actually offered to be an I get, and she changed. She said that she'd rather stay with Rufus. A what? An I get. An I get. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I Turner wanted her to sing for him and she Hmm. stayed with Rufus. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. I think most of her, her, her heyday was really in the seventies with, I think most of her uh, Grammys were with uh, Rufus. Oh, I never. I think if it was an early '80s artist, but I might be. That, that's when she had her solo that. stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what I remember her for. Okay, uh, finally, question four: What Welsh singer has sold over 100 million records and has had 36 top 40 hits since the 1960s? Locked in. I'm so sorry. I'm really adamant about figuring out this mystery. And I'm I'm really frustrated because I thought I had this category figured out. Then this last one doesn't fit into the category. Now I'm mad. <laughs> oh, you uh, you had a pattern going because I well, they're all music I, questions only but... on this category. Yeah. And it's I mean I'm I'm not mad actually. It's really intriguing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, I gotta guess. I'm locked in. <sighs> okay. I think I'm going to punt. Okay. So let's start with Kells. I guess Shirley Bassey. Devo? Uh, Tom Jones. Andy? It's not unusual to be baffled at this point in the game. (laughs) Tom Jones. (laughs) And Allison. Now Ray Guy comes in for his first punt of the day. Kick us away. There's a high, twisting, hang time spiral. All right, correct answer is Tom Jones. All I see is Carlton. That's yeah, pretty much yeah. Really, my That's, only frame of reference for that. It's the way it should be. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pause to see if I get any messages. Oh, I am so lost. Doesn't look like it. I think I got. This is what it feels like points. to be lost in the thought hole. I think it's gonna get easier from here on out. Okay. Easier, he it's okay. Um, I mean, everyone else seems to be doing pretty well. So I, I meant easier as far as the 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 thing. Mm. I got nothing. The first category is just wash. Oh, and I should also point out that the the theme for the for the category questions sometimes it's in the answer, sometimes it's in the questions. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's great, Sensei. <laughs> That's the way I've always um, done these. 
Yeah. Mm. It's true. <laughs> it's has been creepy quiet. <laughs> work stuff out over there. So scores wise, uh, after category two, Allison has 25. Then we've got Kells with 61, Davo 63, and Andy 66. <laughs> it's anybody's game. Wow. Okay, so category three is movie try bonds. Hey. And uh, for each of these, I'm going to give you three actors. You tell me the name of the movie. And if you're really stuck, I'll give you the year that the movie came out as an easy mode for half points. Question one. Deborah Kerr, Rita Moreno, and Yul Brenner. Hmm. I'm locked in with a total guess. Me too. Locked in. Um, I like the easy mode. Okay. Yeah, I will also take the easy mode. Okay, so Devo and Andy are locked in. Uh, the easy mode is uh, this movie came out in 1956. I feel better about my guess. Joe mm. Brenner. Deborah Kerr. I already punted. Oh, Lord. It, mm, going to a movie that two of these people were in. Probably should have done A lot of people don't place. remember Joe Brenner in the Rocky Horror Picture Show, but... <laughs> a lot of people also don't remember Deborah Kerr or Rita Moreno in the Rocky Horror Picture Show. <laughs> yeah, that part. It's weird. Rita Marino is still out there, still singing, and is still amazing, by the way. She's one of our, our few EGOT winners. Nope. Okay. Everybody locked in? No, I have to come up with a movie from the 1950s mm. to write down because I punted already. I know what you're doing right now. You're thinking, what stories has Andy told me from, my teen, from his teen years? Exactly. Just playing it back. Mm. Right. <laughs> That time we borrowed Dad's DeSoto, went to the movie theater, and got popcorn. <laughs> the DeSoto. <laughs> Boy, the way Glenn Miller played. <laughs> hey, can someone just, like, put this pup down over here and just <laughs> tell me a movie from the 1950s for me to write from, down? From the Singing fifth Star movies. Wars on the waterfront. Yep. I'll, I'll look classy with that one. Thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's picture winner, wasn't it, Kels? Yes, it was. I could have been a contender. Let's start with Andy. The King and I. Mm. Allison? Well, uh, I get one of these per show, but um, as my parents were not born yet, um, on the waterfront wow. is the, my guess. Okay. Kels? The King and I. And Devo. The King and I. Correct answer is The King and I. Devo, you're you're close to my age, and this is killing me. You mm -hmm. remember the, the song One Night in Bangkok? I love it. Love that song. There, what's the line about Yul Brenner? Uh, crap. Oh, man, because every yeah. time I hear that song, I always think I get my kicks above the waistline sunshine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Crap. It's the creme, the creme de la creme of the chess world in a show with everything but Yul Brenner. Yul Brenner. Ah, nice. There, there it go. is. I had to look it but up. Davo's right. The only line you need to remember <laughs> is I get my kicks above the waistline sunshine. <laughs> so that was that song was by uh, Murray Head, who is the brother mm -hmm. of Michael Anthony Head, who was uh, Giles really? in the book. Yeah. Did Holy not know crap. that. It was Giles in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Huh. Wow. And many other things, too. He was also sure. in uh, Repo the Genetic Opera, which was a great movie. That was a fun movie. Okay, question two. Michael Sheen, James Cromwell, and Helen Mirren. Oh, come on. Okay. I think I'm lock locked in. That yeah. was emphatic, Kelly. I'm pretty mm -hmm. confident I'm, I'm right. Sorry. I didn't mean to be aggressive. Just me a minute. No, that's okay. It's just, just own it. Yeah. Oh, man. I oh, don't. there's easy mode, right? Tell me a year. Can I yeah. Can I give her the year, Neil? If she's taking I think I know the year, so. too. 
Uh, I think oh God, guys, you guys can talk sure. amongst yourselves all you want, and it won't affect the scores. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I think oh. they want the easy mode. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I'm telling you, if easy mode. you can give, you can tell them the year if you, if you want to save them from having to go to the easy mode. Oh, no. I want them to go to easy mode. Okay. Because <laughs> I'd very much like to win, sir. Okay. So who's, but, who's doing the easy mode? Not me. Uh, me? Allison me. and Devo. Okay. So, Kels, what do you think it is? I think the, it's the, 2006. Yeah, it is 2006. Ooh. All right. I was wrong. I thought 2005. Yeah, well, I hope I have the right movie now, but I'm I, I'm pretty confident I have the right movie. James Cromwell. All right, I'm just gonna think pigs, think sequels. Okay, <laughs> think sequels. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> mm. well, well, I was me. thinking pig. I'm about to write down pig. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna write down the sequel. Oh, oh, no, Liv Mirren is in. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's the voice of the friendly rat. Wonders <laughs> in the city. <laughs> I'm, I'm locked in. I genuinely have no clue. So I think everybody's locked in except Allison. I mean, I wrote down a movie that I enjoyed around this time of my life. Okay, that's a great way to answer this question. So. Todd Rod came out in 2006? <laughs> no, Andy. Wait, let me do the math. Hold on. I have to go by my own. Let me do the math. I have to go my my own age. Wow. When did it come out in in uh, relation to your age? I think I was fourteen. Oh. And you were born in ninety three. Mm hmm. It was okay. fourteen years after the robot holocaust. <laughs> so that'd be what? Oh seven. Pretty close. Damn it. Why didn't I write down Hot Rod? Because it came out in 07. Mm. Well, did pro- I don't think the movie I wrote down came out in 06 or 05. So. <laughs> what movie did you write down, Allison? I wrote down The Princess Diaries 2 because Kells said it was a royal. Oh. Or it was a, whatchamacallit. That stinks. Sequel. A suit. But that was only to mess with Dave. You didn't have to go that one. <laughs> I had to roll with it. Oh, Kels, what fair. did you get? The Queen. Well, Dave. that's a real kick in the pants. Dave, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's a real kick in the woo. Uh, mm-hmm. I said uh, Babe Pig in the City. Mm-hmm. And Ooh. Yeah. Well, hello, peasants. Yes, it's uh, about the Queen, isn't it? <laughs> 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 that nice Helen Mirren. Academy Award winner, Helen Mary. Academy Award winner, indeed. Andy, I want you to know I put that question in there specifically for you. <laughs> Thank you, nice young man. <laughs> okay. Bless you. Yes, thank you. Would you like to be knighted? <laughs> oh, sure. That'd be nice. Arise! I don't want to crush you with a sword, though. You're my head. Sirloin of beef? <laughs> Arise! That's that's a, I, I have to make it clear. That is my favorite Bugs Bunny joke. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Rise, Sir Lord of Beef. <laughs> Earl of Worcester, Sister yes. yes. <laughs> All right. Question three. Gene Hackman, Angelica Houston, and Bill Murray. <laughs> oh, down. I just read about this the other day. The Hackman and Murray did not get along. Oh, uh, yeah. <gasps> I know this one. I'm locked in. This one is always in my wheelhouse. Davo, do you have this? No. This answer? I, oh, you don't? This is, this is breaking my heart. I don't know exactly what to put for the Slack message, but I feel like I'm about to send it in. Really? Wow. Remember, you only get one shot. I've got. Ooh. Yeah, it's like it's like lose yourself. <laughs> you only get one exactly. shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. <laughs> it's Eminem rules. Mom's <laughs> spaghetti is what I'm all about right now. I'm all about mom's spaghetti. I'm locked in with a wrong answer because I have no clue about this movie. Okay, so everybody's locked in. Let's start with Kells. So Royal Ten Bombs. Deva. I said babe. 
<laughs> Andy? The Royal Tannenbaums. And I thought that was a movie Davo made me watch. Mm-mm. I think I've seen no? that once a long time ago. Allison? This is my brother's favorite movie. He actually loves all Wes Anderson, but The Royal Tannenbaums. Correct answer is The Royal Tannenbaums from 2001. Okay, final question. Peter Falk, Carol Kane, and Christopher Guest. What? Peter Falk. Carol, Carol Kane? Did they do a taxi movie? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm locked in. Wow, I am drawing a blank. I think you I think it. me might suggest to do something. I'm gonna take a stab. Damn it. I think something funny wow. just happened. Oh, I just slipped into um, the thought hole. Oh, I'm locked in. Mm-hmm. Really? <laughs> Fuck Kane Christopher Guess. This should be a movie on my A list. <laughs> you know? And it's not ringing a bell. I'm punting. I got no idea. Okay. Let's start with Devo. The Princess Bride. Yes! yes! <laughs> oh, son of a... No! No, I'm done being nice. I was nice. No, nope, not now. No, nope, I quit. You've got to be kidding me. But you said it was a movie on your A-list. Yeah. I mean, the, really? The star Indeed. quality is so high, it's got to be on your A-list. <laughs> so, uh... Andy, that's hilarious. Oh. I don't think he's at his desk to, uh, to hear this one. To enjoy it, yeah. Allison? You're happy. I could, like, feel Davo sitting on his hands. Like, <laughs> I actually <laughs> muted my mic, so I wouldn't say anything. He was playing it cool. No. He was, and I was like, I got a okay, I, I see something that is running in this category, and uh, so, and then I... I guess the Princess Bride. And Kels. Damn it. The Princess Bride. It is the Princess Bride. All of you can go to hell. I hate you all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't always I didn't say I would do tribons with the like the lead actors or anything. Yeah. Just this mm-hmm. three Move actors. On. <laughs> nice Andy has left the building. Oh, he was never really here. <laughs> <laughs> you broke me down. Okay, at the end of category three. We've got Allison with 45, Devo, 83, Kels and Andy are tied at 96. I got two categories figured out and possibly the third. Has anybody figured out the mystery theme? No. No. I'm not going to tell if anybody has. Okay. But if you guys want to share it amongst yourselves, you're welcome to. No. I feel like Devo is real quiet. Devo's creeping me out tonight. He got the, really? I think he Dave got it in the first himself. round <laughs> and is playing it real cool. Yeah. I mean, he's never been so quiet. I feel like I've offended him. No, I'm just, tr- I, this is, I'm baffled. Nah. It is, okay. I will say it is hard to like, sometimes you guys will like do our normal banter, but I'm so locked in on trying to figure out what the thing is. That I can't speak. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if category four helps you at all. Okay. Which happens to be our bonus round. So mm. once you're doubled. Oh, dear round. Lord. All right. Question one. The Reform Party is an American political party formed in 1995 by Ross Perot. Who was the only Reform Party member to win a major elected office in the United States? Crap. Oh, Andy, I figured this would be right up your alley. No, I'm not a big third party person. I'm locked in. Oh, I'm locked in. Locked in. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I, I have a name. Okay. Let's start with Kels. Uh, I went with Nader. <gasps> Allison? I also went with Nader. Andy. The ghost of William Jennings Bryan. <laughs> and Deva. That's a deep cut. Uh, <laughs> Jesse Ventura. Her cancer is Ooh, Jesse Ventura. Mm-hmm. Oh, come on. It was a wrestling okay. question? 
Governor of Minnesota, man. You're okay. Question two. Who suffered the worst electoral college defeat for any Democratic Party presidential candidate ever? Oh, which one was locked it? Locked in. I'm locked in. I'm locked in. Says so that everybody? No. Well, Allison, you're up. So whenever you're ready, you just spit it out. Democratic loser. Man, okay. I am. All right. Yeah, I, I, I wrote down Ray Guy. So okay. things are going. Mm-hmm. Things Ray are Guy didn't bleak. lose anything. <laughs> so he he was a raider, baby. He won our heart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, Allison said Ray Guy. Andy, what did you get? I believe the worst Democrat defeat is Walter Mondale to Ronald Reagan. I believe the worst Republican defeat is Alf Landon to to FDR. Okay. Good call, Andy. David? I Mondale. And Kels? Mondale. I knew it was one of the guys from the 80s. Correct answer is Walter Mondale. It wasn't even really... It was pretty embarrassing for Alf... Poor Alf. <laughs> Walter Mondale at least won two states. I don't believe Alf won a single state. Um, Mondale only won one state. He won a okay. home I state. He, I think he won. He won D- Minnesota, but I thought he won one I of the eastern states, like New Hampshire or something. Too. No, mm. He won DC. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, uh, well, Landon Landon only got eight. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. And uh, again, and this story is in black and white. Um, I was in, I was a little boy in the hometown around Reagan during that election. I remember exactly where I was. It was pandemonium. The downtown streets were full of people. There were spotlights. It was uh, a big night. <laughs> Back in oh, diggity diggity six. <laughs> <laughs> diggity diggity. Question three. What comic strip published almost 18,000 strips before its ending on January 3rd, 2000? And I have an easy mode if you need it. Locked in. Oh, goodness. 18,000. I'll take easy, please. I'll also take easy mode. Well, I have a really good easy mode for this. Yeah, I'm, I will share also it now? need it. <laughs> it would be, I, I think everybody knows the story, so I think it would ruin it. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay, well, the easy mode, I, so Andy's locked in. Everybody else wants the easy mode. Um, it spawned five feature films and more than 40 TV specials. Oh. Okay. Oh, crap on a cracker. Locked in? What? <laughs> oh, I get why that fits. I get why that fits. Five okay. feature films? He didn't say they were good. That's true. Whoa. They're all good. Oh, I wrote something Don't wrong. Don't mess with me. I'm just going to write down what I wrote down initially. I'm locked in. Okay. So everybody, a- Andy's the only one that didn't take the easy mode on this one. Is that right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And what did you say, Andy? My easy mode would have been, I'm um, second guessing myself, but didn't Charles Schultz announce his retirement and coincidentally died like within days when the last comic strip ran, which is Peanuts. That would have been my easy mode. I think there was this weird connection. Like he announced his retirement, drew some strips in advance, and died like right around the same time his last strip came out. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Deva? I said Peanuts. Kels? I also said Peanuts. And Allison? I feel like I feel I told you guys I'm just going to get less and less intelligent as this goes <laughs> on. Um, well, I said Garfield because you're talking about it seems like these questions are about like politics and oh, Garfield yeah. Garfield's was actually in politics Garfield I, I was mm. that would have been really cool of me but in fact the answer is peanuts hmm. mm-hmm. and uh, Devo I think he was uh, I think he was sick it might have he, I'm sorry Andy uh, I think he Charles Schultz was sick uh, okay. With, with cancer, I think. And when he got okay. too sick to actually draw it, he actually did his last episode and said, or last strip and said, I just can't continue anymore. And then died like the next month or so. 
Mm. Okay, oh. so that's why I knew there was some like it was really close. Yeah, it's not like it was a coincidence and he just okay know, killed over. He he that stopped doing sense. it because he was too sick to continue. Mm. But the correct answer is Peanuts by Charles Schultz. And question four. In the mid-2000s, Saturday Night Live, Kristen Wiig had a recurring role as a clerk at what big box store? Locked in. Locked in. Shoot. <laughs> I'm going to guess. I can see what she's wearing, but I don't yeah. know for sure. I'm locked in. I think it's all of us, right? Yep. Oh, sorry. Allison just said yeah again, so I didn't know if that was a thinking yeah or I'm locked in yeah. I somehow muted myself while throwing my pin. Because <laughs> <laughs> none of this there. makes sense. Okay. I can't, every time I feel like Ooh. I get a little slight grip on reality, right. you just slap then, me across the face. I think I got the fourth category. I what? don't. Okay, Davo, what did you get? When they don't have it at Walmart and you want to go a little upscale, you go to Target. Ah, oh, crap. Kels? Welcome to Target. <laughs> <laughs> Target. That's right. Allison? Target. And Andy? I can see your outfit, but I couldn't remember. I wrote down Walmart. Correct mm. answer is Target. So, uh, Welcome to Target. Nobody Target. talked for like a half an hour. No. Um, so I got category four, but I don't know how it relates to. Oh, you got it now. No. Yeah, you got it. All right. At the end of round four, Allison <laughs> has 65. Damn it, Slack. Why won't you Slack? <laughs> Andy has 136. Kells has 146. And Davo has 153. Okay. I figured out that category. Hold on. I have. I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm going on a limb because I'm desperate. Uh oh. I have an mm -hmm. idea that's been in the back of my mind. All right. Category five. What popular singer was named after the writer of the song Fire and Rain, which reached number three on the Billboard charts in 1970? Well, I know the singer, but I don't know who was named after him. Locked in. I'm locked in. Oh, sweet God. Okay, sure. Sure. I'm locked in. I think Alice is going to hate me after this episode. I just, my spirit is broken. You Were you trying to think of people from the 70s, Allison? Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. No. <laughs> no. Oh, they were born much the later. Way. Much, much yeah. later. Yeah. It Ava? took me so long to think of somebody that would be old enough to be born in the 70s. But wow, so, thanks. So, yeah. So, Allison, the way the question yes. worked was. Yeah. You guys, so, so James Taylor wrote the yeah. song. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so the parents said, hey, let's make a baby who's real tall and real blonde and name her Taylor. And then she became a famous singer named Taylor Swift. I'm so Swift. sorry, Mary, oh, that I missed this. I got this wrong. I'm so <laughs> sorry. Kels? I wonder if Andy put like LeBron James. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> so Taylor Swift, I knew you were trouble when you walked in. <laughs> Allison? Mariah Carey, I believe, was born in the 70s. Sorry, did I interrupt sure. a joke there, Kels? No, nah, no, nah, that was it. Okay, I, I can't do the goat scream. That's my favorite version of the song. <laughs> <laughs> and Andy, that is the best version of that song. I went the other <laughs> way with it and said James Blunt. Uh, <laughs> mm. uh, the correct answer is Taylor Swift. Question two: What state has the rainiest location in the United States? Locked in. Locked in. Sure, locked in. All right. Kels, what's your answer? I said Washington. Okay. Allison, what's your answer? I wrote down Seattle because I'm dumb, and then I crossed it out and changed it to Washington. <laughs> the great state of Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> it's a state of mind. Well, honestly, if you ask mm. people in Seattle, they think they're the only people in the state. Mm -hmm. Ooh, shade thrown. We would like to apologize to our listeners in Seattle, <laughs> as well as the state of Washington. We do not believe that, that you feel that way, and we appreciate your listening. Well, no, ask, ask the people in Yakima and Spokane if that's true. <laughs> yeah. 
We it's have happening. nobody listening in Yakima. <laughs> My sister in law's uh, living listens. in Yakima right now, but she doesn't oh. listen. So. Uh, it's potential there. There's potential. Anyway, Andy, what was your answer? Washington. And David. I said Hawaii. I thought about it. Correct answer is yeah. Hawaii. That was Dang it. Oh! I did think about it. <sighs> Dang it. Well, how does this match the theme? It's crazy. <laughs> Question three. What product slogan is taste the rainbow? Locked in. Okay. Locked in. This is my kind of question here. <laughs> Locked in. <laughs> I do not understand how any of these questions match the theme. <laughs> this category is shit Allison likes. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be on a that beach applies. in Hawaii listening to, to Taylor T-Swift Swift and the with big my bag tasting Skittles. the rainbow. Don't say, don't, we haven't got the answer <laughs> yet. Everybody, got everybody, got everybody's locked, locked in. in. Oh, okay. We got it. Andy, what's your answer? Skittles. David. Skittles. Kells. Skittles. And Allison. Skittles. Of course it's Skittles. And question four. What British actor earned Best Supporting Actor nominations for Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, Casablanca, and Notorious? And Wait a minute. I, I have an easy mode if you need it. Sure. <laughs> This is this is something that I should retain. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So he was in Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. And Lockdown. He was in Casablanca. Casablanca. And Notorious. Not only was he in those three movies, but he got Best Actor Supporting Actor. I'm sorry, Best Supporting Actor Oscar nominations. All right. It's between two guys, and I'm probably writing down the wrong one. I'm locked in. Okay. So everybody's locked in. Allison wants the easy mode. Is that right? Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to get it with the easy mode, but I'll I'll try to learn something today. Okay. So the easy mode is he also star- starred in the original Invisible Man. I feel All better right. about my answer. Mm. All right, locked in. Okay. Let's start with uh, Allison. Well, as I have figured out that the, the category is um, things Allison likes, Number four could only be Channing Tatum. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Renowned British actor. Impeccable logic. Um, Andy. You go strolling through the crowd like Peter Lorre contemplating a crime. Peter Lorre. Okay. That's my guess. Devo? I said Basil Rathbone. Ooh, that's a good guess. Kels, will you enlighten these people? Claude Rains. Oh, oh I get Basil better. Rathbone and Claude Rains mixed up. Yeah, Claude all Rains the just all made up names. Man. <laughs> Claude <laughs> from Rocky yeah. Horror. Right, I st- oh <laughs> wait, are you kidding me? No, I don't know. Well, that's <laughs> now I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> if, that's, if that connection is what I think it is, that is dirty pool. Uh, okay, so after category five, Allison has seventy five, Andy one forty six, Kells one seventy six, one eighty three. Getting my ass kicked. All right, category six. Question one: Aubergine is to British English as what is to English uh, American English? Locked in. I'm locked, locked in with in. a total guess. All right. Easy mode. <laughs> Andy makes up fake bonuses. I I make up fake easy modes. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll give you a I'll give you a freebie. Uh, it's a popular emoji for. Well, okay, reasons. in line with Allison's favorite things, I will put my favorite emoji. <laughs> you just that's blooper material all day long wow <laughs> okay i'm dying to know what allison's favorite emoji oh, is so let's start with her y'all know it's the eggplant okay i know it was the eggplant i knew it andy 
Um, I'm guessing pigeon English, but now I feel like I'm dead wrong. What? Okay. Okay, Andy, you're I might have misunderstood did the, the question. same thing mine did. Okay, did so, I misunderstand the question? Here's what the question is. Yes. You did. Yes. So, aubergine, can I answer, uh-huh. Neil? Sure. So, like, in Britain, if you want to order cilantro at a restaurant, they will look at you like you're crazy because they call it coriander. Yeah. Hmm. So okay. the British term for an eggplant, which is my answer, is an aubergine. Oh, aubergine is to English is to oh, I as now. aubergine is to British American English, English as what is to American English. Yeah, as a- and cows. Eggplant. It is an eggplant. Question two: Sultanas and currants are types of what? I'm locked in. Locked in. Okay, I wrote something down. <laughs> okay. Locked in. Andy? Andy, go ahead. Jam? Oh, jam. Hmm. Deva? Grapes. Kels? Grapes. Ugh. Allison? Carrots. Correct answer is they are types of dried grapes or raisins. Mm. Okay. So I give you credit. I should have. My grandmother made currants and she had grape vines. And I just, all I could think of was the jam. Mm. Mm. That one stings. Question three. What small, dark Amazonian fruit has been hyped as a superfood since the early 2000s, despite any actual evidence that it is a superfood? Locked in. Okay. I don't know how to say this. Mm. I think I wrote down the wrong one. I maybe I I don't compare to me because <laughs> I'm locked in. I'm locked in. Okay, let's start with Tabo. I said goji berries, okay. but in print in uh, my parenthetical is acai berries. Okay, that's how you say that. Kels, acai. Allison, that was. Some people say acai, don't they? Is it? I say acai because it sounds cool. I could be wrong. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. And uh, Andy? The Crunch Berry? <laughs> right. uh, I believe the correct pronunciation is acai berry. Oh. I just realized you were asking about a superfood, not the superfood. Mm, right. Let me get you every time. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because the superfood, of course, is the Crunch Berry. And our final question. Research in Motion is a Canadian technology company that changed its name in 2013 to take advantage of its most popular product. What is the current name of Research in Motion? Locked in. So I need a business with produce in its name. <laughs> <laughs> and only one is coming to mind. Oh, oh, there it is. Never mind. I got it. I almost okay. had to do a joke answer. I got uh, which one do I? Okay, okay. I have two things that are produce. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm locked in. All right, Deva, what's your answer? Purple. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> nice, Kels. Uh, blackberry. Allison. I didn't even notice the color of all these things. Um, I said apple. Okay. And Andy. Devo, I swear to God I was with you. I'm tired. I couldn't come up with it, so I was going to write a joke answer. I was going to say raspberry beret. Uh, But then (laughs) as as I was writing raspberry, Neil kept explaining the answer and suddenly hit me blackberry and wrote that down. Yeah. Yeah. The correct answer is blackberry. Did a... Did Andy just slip up at all? I don't think you slipped up. Well, it doesn't matter anymore. It's the last question, and you can't get points for guessing it. So, yeah. But, but, but. (laughs) (laughs) So he's trying to figure it out after. Yeah. So it has something to do with Prince, yes? Okay, so here's what I'm going to (laughs) suggest. Oh, God. Why don't we start with category six and work backwards? And yeah. if you know what the theme to the category was, then just sh- the, just explain it. 
and then okay. Okay. Uh, we'll keep going all the way back. And if you guys uh, aren't sure, then I'll I'll tell you what it is. And when we get to the end, we'll we'll share what the mystery theme is. Okay. Okay. So okay. Uh, category six, purple. No idea. Purple. Purple. Yeah. Those oh, were all purple. Those were all purple produce. Yeah. Uh, category five, rain. Rain. Yeah. Yep. All the questions oh. and/or answers had rain. In rain them. in them. Okay. So that right okay. there ought to be enough to tell you what the theme is. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, category four, Minnesota. Minnesota. Yep. Those are oh, all wow. uh, people yeah. or companies in Minnesota. It's Charles Target Schultz's. and Mondale is what locked it in for me. Yeah. Yeah. Target's based in Minneapolis. Specifically, they're all people from Minneapolis. Uh, Ventura and Mondale and Schultz were all from Minneapolis. Okay. Uh, category three, royalty. royalty. Specifically, what's missing from category Prince three? Princes missing from the princes. category. We got kings, ah, queens, nice. princesses, and royals, but no prince. Nice. Okay, now's where it's. I'm, I'm interested to see if you guys pick up on the details of category two. Uh, they all uh, they Prince covered wrote songs, songs or worked with. Yeah, yeah. Either Prince either wrote Prince, songs they did. Oh yeah. right, there it is. Tom Jones with Kiss. Oh, mm -hmm. The Bengals. Uh, he wrote uh, Manic Monday Manic for the Monday. Bengals. Yep. And uh, I feel for you for Shaka Khan. Yeah. Yep. Well, she covered it, and yeah. nothing compares to you. Nothing compares to all you. Right. Yep. I, I thought the gig uh, was up when somebody said, "Nothing compares to you." But. Mm. <laughs> Okay, Let's then, all limber up for the stretch of the first <laughs> category. So this, category. Is, this is the most obscure. Okay. I, I think I it's that. great firsts. Nope. I never mind Bart Starr, Coco Chanel. Coco Chanel is the, the ringer to me. So unless you unless you're deep into your Prince uh Prince knowledge, you may not know this. He used okay. a lot of pseudonyms for his songwriting. Okay. Oh. So, for example, he wrote Manic Monday for the Bengals uh, with the name Alexander Nevermind. Oh, okay. oh shit. Wow. wow. And he didn't, he used, uh, I think it was um, Joey Coco was one of his pseudonyms. Oh. Uh, he did a song for somebody where he, it was just, uh, it was just uh, Christopher. Mm. And then uh, also, yeah. So Joey Coco, Jamie Star, um, huh. was another pseudonym that he used. Okay. Wow, that's ooh, that was that's, that was a great category. That's ooh, mm -hmm. very Deep nice. Cuts. I think yeah. if anybody, one of us, had gotten it after that category, we should have just ended the show and yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. walked this away and never it. talked to each other again. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to say that this this whole uh, theme. A mystery theme was suggested by a fan of the show Twy. Who's oh, the show well done, Twy. Twy. Well and I didn't done. want to say so ahead of time because if you know Twy, you know she's a huge Prince fan. Mm. And so I didn't yeah, want to share that up front so. because I didn't want to give it away. And she has a personal message for Allison. Oh, uh, no. She she apologizes <laughs> <laughs> for the final question <laughs> for the final category, which is a sudden death category. Oh, which no. is 10 questions about Prince. About Prince. Okay. 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 What are the scores? Oh, yeah. let's see the scores. At the end of our... Oh, I'm going to go ahead and include your... Um, Deva was the first to guess Prince. Mm. Uh, Kells got it second and Andy was third. Mm. How many minutes separated first, second, and third? Oh, hang on. Is that curious? I think we all it. got it around the same time. So no, Devo Davo got it way before us. Really? Oh, Davo? Davo? 922. Kells was 11 minutes later. Mm -hmm. And then um, Andy was one minute after that. Oh. <laughs> well done, Dave. Including those Thanks. bonus points, our scores are Allison has 95, Andy 161, Devo 220. 23 and Kells oh. 226. Oh, come on. Oh, wow.
1957, Laika became the first animal to orbit Earth. What kind of animal was Laika? What is the only team in the Big Four North American Sports Leagues which shares its name with one of the Avengers? And here's one more question for you. Are you the type of person who enjoys playing trivia games, learning new things, and having a bit of fun along the way? If you are, or if you just want to find out the answers to those other questions, then our podcast, Quiz and Hers, might be right up your alley. Each week, one of us writes new trivia questions for the other person, covering everything from science to history to pop culture to sports. And every question in a game relates to some theme, like Game of Thrones, internet memes, sandwiches, or animals in space. Some of the themes make more sense than others. So if you like trivia, learning, or real couples testing each other's knowledge and patience, check out our podcast, Quiz and Hers, part of the Big Heads Media Podcast Network. Quiz and Hers, the trivia podcast where we test each other's knowledge and the strength of our relationship. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Kels, from the Brain Ladle Trivia Podcast, and I have some exciting info for you. ABC's hit trivia show is back for season three, and that's right, we're talking about the chase. Pop quiz. Would you like a chance to win big money? Is your mental fitness in peak condition? Is your intellectual cardio up to snuff? If you answer yes, yes, and yes, then I've got some great news for you. ABC is now searching nationwide for trivia buffs like yourself to take on their chasers. Do you have what it takes? If you think you do, apply now at www.thechasecasting.com. You must be 18 or older and a legal resident to apply. Once again, that's www.thechasecasting.com. Apply today for a chance to embark on the mental sprint of a lifetime. I don't even need to be here at this point. <laughs> Andy, you well, shut your mouth. <laughs> we, we've both been lapped. No, hold on, Andy. Mm. No, we, we thought that last show, and I did yeah, well in the last category. And, I, and I, know my, I know me some Prince. Am I the only one that's seen Prince live, by the way, at Humble Brag? Oh, Probably. That, Am I the only one that's awesome. been to a Prince concert? One of the best concerts of my life. I'm sure. Okay. Well, let's see how much you do know, Andy. Let's start with an easy one. I hope. Okay. What is Prince's full name? First, middle, last name. Oh, I, oh my goodness. I'm out. Out? <laughs> what? Locked in. I have no Locked idea. Locked in. This is like, yeah, this gets no easier. Yeah. Suck it, Kels. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> I'm sure we've talked about this on the show before, but it's been a while. We have. It's, I just don't it's remember. It's been said, and yeah, if you, it's you know. come up. Okay, so uh, everybody's locked in. Let's yeah, start. I'm. Back. I'm going through the thought hole. Hold on a minute. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, then I'm done. Okay. Okay. Damn it, Kels. Prince Rogers Nelson. David. Yeah, we have talked about that. <laughs> Dave on now. I just know Prince. I'm okay. out. Andy? Prince Rogers Nelson. And Allison. Oh, I'm out. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we are. That was fast. <laughs> We're down to yep. uh, Kels and Andy. Uh, question two. At one point in his life, Prince claimed to be primarily a vegetarian who also ate seafood. What is that type uh -huh. of diet uh -huh. called? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No fair. Bias. I call bias. Bias towards him. Yes. Yeah, you. toward you. This isn't my diet. This is, I mean, this it's is practically your diet. It's close. I, I know this answer. I'm going to write it down just to feel better. Yeah, you can just say along if you want to. I cannot believe I'm I'm locked in. Okay. You got it. Andy. Surf and turf. Oh, no. Ooh, what's happening? <laughs> I don't know. Look at me. Do you think I have any idea about any diet at all beyond Big Macs? Uh, Kels. Pescatarian. Her answer is pescatarian. Isn't that a church? Uh, a, a pescatarian. Presbyterian. It's, it's, it's a church of England. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm the head of that. The yeah, pescatarian yes. diet. The pescatarian Thank you, Martin Luther. <laughs> Well, I that's guess that's why you can eat fish and chips in England. It's the mm -hmm. pescatarian diet. The Queen oh. certifies it. 
He is. I guess we're just going to keep going uh, with Kells and see how many he gets. Maybe he'll run the oh, board. Oh, great. Yeah. Question <laughs> three. What was Prince's first top 10 hit in 1981? Oh, my goodness. Oh. Okay. Oh, I'm locked in. 81 Prince. <laughs> I mean, it predates me by a bit, but. Oh, you get one. I get one. <laughs> that was my you, one. That's the only you time I said Allison it. Get the. I'm too young for this. I don't learn anything after the age of five. Me, me, me. <laughs> All right. Um, I want to be your lover. Oh, so nice. I have a trivia nugget. I want to be your lover was close, but it peaked at eleven. What? It didn't get past eleven. So, so is it when doves cry? Little red no, Corvette. That's t- wait. T- Little, Little Red, red Corvette. Corvette. Oh, wow. that was 81. Wow. Yeah. Oof. I didn't realize oh, it was yeah. that early. I would have, yeah. I Want to Be Your Lover was my guess too, Kels. Because that's his first album, Prince. Mm hmm. So I don't think mm. that was his first album, was it? That one is Prince? Like the first album that charted anyway. He might have had stuff that didn't really yeah. go I mean, anywhere. He, he was doing something no. in the late 70s. That's, I mean, yeah, you're right. Um, well, oh. so uh, do you want to just keep going for funsies? Because the game's yeah. technically over now. Yeah, funsies. Okay. In 2001, Prince was baptized in what religion? Jehovah's Witness. Oh, Jehovah's Witness. Yeah, he's a JW. Yeah. So there's a funny story about that. So he, apparently he had a uh, an ongoing conversation uh, over a period of years with Larry Graham of uh, Sly Stone and Graham Central Station. Mm-hmm. And uh, Larry Graham converted him basically to Jehovah's Witnesses, and Prince and Larry Graham actually would would occasionally go door to door, like you know Jehovah's Witnesses are are uh, mm-hmm. I don't know what they call it, but you know they're they're supposed to go do that. And so, I mean, just can you imagine opening the door not- and there's Prince and Larry it's Graham? <laughs> Larry Graham. <laughs> and you're like, like there's a, there's a, I read a story from this woman who was like. She opened the door and saw Prince and was like, oh, my God, he wants to use my house for a for a, a video or something. Just tear it down and you can do whatever you want. And they were like, <laughs> and he was like, handed her a copy of the Watchtower or something. And she was like, yeah. oh, wait a minute. I'm Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, fantastic. Anyway, yeah. So uh, he did convert to uh, Jehovah's Witnesses. Question five. What? Record label did he have his famous feud with that caused him to stop recording under his own name for Ooh. a few years? Mm-mm. Was it Warner? Was it, it was Sony? Warner Brothers. Oh, I was between Warner and Sony. I think it's Sony. It was Warner Brothers. Damn. Yeah, because he did the um, he did the Batman soundtrack. That was Warner Brothers. Mm-hmm. Oh, that makes um, sense. Question six: What was the name for the symbol that Prince used during his fight with Warner Brothers to represent? Uh, I definitely would have been that right here. Um, hmm. uh, I didn't know it was the name. It sort something. of became an official uh, official term, but it didn't have one at the beginning. I don't know. It was called Love Symbol Number Two. Huh. Oh, that sounds very Prince esque. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> So uh, yeah. Warner Brothers had to send out uh, a diskette, a floppy disk with a special font to anybody who wanted to write about Prince during that time ah. so that they could actually <laughs> print his name. Was it purple? I don't know. It should have been. <laughs> okay, so the year after Prince's death, what global color authority named a deep shade of purple love symbol number two in his honor? <sighs> Pantone. Oh, Pantone. Yeah. yeah. Thank yep. you. It was Pantone. Crayola in 1980, rushed to my head first. I'm sorry. Yeah, that was fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, question eight. In 1985, Darling Nikki was one of the songs that caused what future second lady to create the Parents Music Resource Center? Locked in. Is it future first lady? Yeah, she wasn't, second. she wasn't the second lady in 1985, but she became one later. Oh, that's Tipper Gore, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, Al Gore's it was, wife. It was Tipper Gore. Oh, okay. Um, question nine. What was the sequel to Purple Rain? Under the Cherry? No, Graffiti Bridge. Graffiti Bridge. Oh, nice. I forgot about that. And uh, I kind of right now regret this last question 
because it's kind of putting us on a downer, but what was Prince's official cause of death? Overdose. Overdose? Accidental overdose. More specific? Fentanyl? Yeah. An accidental fentanyl accidental fentanyl overdose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, that was kind of a short sudden death, but uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Allison, because I care, I gave you a five point bonus for being awesome, which brings <laughs> you to a hundred. <laughs> <points. laughs> that brings you to a hundred. Uh, Andy, uh, you ended up with one seventy one. Decidedly in third place. Decidedly, uh, <laughs> Davo with 223 and Kells with 246 points. Man, Kells. Man, well killing done, it, man. Kells. Good game. Well, thank you, Twy, for an excellent yes. mystery category. Very, very well done. Uh, Twy is not going to take responsibility for the questions. I wrote all the questions, but she came up with the idea and uh, gave me some ideas for some of the categories. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. So blame me for the questions. We always do. So <laughs> from all of us here at the Brain Ladle Trivia Podcast, this is your MC Davo with Kells. Oh, uh, yeah. So listen, uh, dig, if you will, picture uh, <laughs> you and I engaged in a kiss. Yeah, that's what's happening. Yeah. Uh, good night, everybody <laughs> from the uh, Phelps. You got the latest man. <laughs> Andy. Oh, my God. So long, Lado Braiders. Allison. Game blouses. <laughs> <laughs> and the sensei Neil. I knew a girl named Nikki. I Whoa. guess you could say she was a sex fiend. I met her in a hotel lobby, masturbating with a magazine. She said, how'd you like to waste some time? And I could not resist when I saw little Nikki grind. I don't think he knows what most of that stuff meant, but, but you know, you know, LB. I think LB's going through something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Signing off. You guys may not know this, but we do have a YouTube channel where we upload our episodes. So if you find yourself, oh, at the office where you can't have the earbuds in on your phone, Pop us up uh, up there on YouTube and listen on company time. It's, I think that's a great idea. Guys? You don't have a job, so. Oh. <laughs> What's on the screen when you're playing it? Uh, just a wonderful picture of our logo. So it blends huh. in nicely to the background. Uh -huh. Very unobtrusive. Uh -huh. Okay. Not a lot of flickering motion. So it's very easy to get all that trivia goodness while covertly breaking company policy. Okay. I will always remember I was working for Fast Track Productions and we were doing uh, a documentary in the Seattle, Portland area. And we landed just weeks after Kurt Cobain had committed suicide. And the radio stations had all gotten bootlegs of the MTV Unplugged album. And that's all anybody was playing just nonstop. So it was really kind of an amazing experience. Andy, you should tell more stories like that and less stories about IPMS. <laughs> yeah, if I had a preference, I would pick the, the radio So my stories. brothers in the International Plastic Modeler <laughs> Society uh, keep fighting the good fight. They know not what they speak of. IPMS is just hilarious. <laughs> you know what? Some of us, some of us don't think like that. And that's all right. <laughs> Dogs on the hip parade. <laughs> that was pretty you good, Andy. Red gray. Those were the days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't remember what she sings next, but she does it in that. It's high. Really yeah, is. Like, I can't. Oh, it was, I could. I don't think I could you, do it either. And you remember where you were then? I think is the line, but. She and goes, you remember where you were then? <laughs> that ain't oh it, but God. it was close. Oh. It's the week of you, so I mean, like her, but who were I get? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I always got to get my jeans right.
It's not Gene Kelly. Well, you'll chafe if you don't. <laughs> or Gene Wilder. <laughs> Gene, that, that's who I mix it up with. Gene Wilder. Mm-hmm. Do you have a Gene Wilder impression? Me? Well, me? Kells. No, Kells. Oh, I was going to say, dear God, no. <laughs> Um, Come with me. Yep, there and it is. And you'll be in a world of pure imagination. <laughs> That's I, I only only singing. That's what I can't do. Gene Wilder, you stole fizzy lifting drinks. <laughs> it's just hilarious. Good day. Good day. <laughs> I need to disclose to the group. Mm-hmm. This is where I'm at. I figured out how to move my microphone arm down to the floor. I'm now laying on the floor. <laughs> you okay? okay. Oh. oh, is this the, the sugar high? You can't crash it down? My Should spirit, I call 911? My spirit's broken. <laughs> the sugar's gone. I am in a glass case of emotion. <laughs> you know I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> oh, my sweet brick. I don't want to live in a world where I can't kick your ass. <laughs> So I can murder you. (laughs) The preceding podcast was presented by Brain Ladle Productions. All rights reserved. Songs that make the hit parade.